Hey guys, my name is Pirabhi Sarkar and welcome to the Bioscience World. So today I'll be talking about different forms of DNA. So the forms of DNA are also known as the alternative DNA conformations. So the X-ray analysis of DNA crystals have revealed that DNA exhibits much more structural diversity at atomic resolutions. The Watson and Crick model, which is very famous, is also known as the B-DNA helix. And I hope you have already watched my previous video on this. And if not, the link is given down below. Now, the DNA molecule exhibits property of adapting itself to different environmental conditions. And those are known as non-B-DNA. So, the forms of DNA apart from B DNA helix forms the non B DNA because of the environmental conditions like humidity, the ionic or hydration that favors, favors the conformation change in the DNA. Protein binding. So the protein binds with one of the helical conformation of DNA and allows it to change its structure into different forms. Like the B DNA can change the conformation either to A or Z DNA. The next one is the DNA base sequence, which is most important factor that decides the shape, size, coiling and twisting of the DNA that gives rise to structurally variant DNA form. So all these factors gives rise to a completely different avatars leading to different forms of DNA structure. And you would be amazed to know that except F, Q, U, V and Y, we have all forms of DNA as much as the letters we have in an English alphabet. So yes, you have G, H, X, P, M and O forms of DNA. And about these DNA forms like F, Q, U, V and Y. According to the scientists or the literature studies, these would be available in near future. But among these, if you see A DNA, B DNA, Z DNA are very important. So majorly we are going to cover today on A, B, Z DNA and some other forms of DNA as well. So let's begin. So the B form of DNA which is very famous given by Watson and Crick. The canonical Watson and Crick DNA structure is a right handed double helix with telnucleotide patterns. And this structure forms under a physiological condition of 92 relative humidity and in low ionic strength. Also, under the X-ray diffraction, it has been found that the B DNA represents the average conformation of all DNAs. And the majority of the cell compromise of B DNA, which rotate helically in the right hand direction. So if you see the structure, it shows the as x axis of the B DNA. And this is a rotation how the B DNA rotates. Next moving on to the A DNA, which is a right handed direction. Rotate. It was given by Rosanna Franklin. And the extra diffraction studies have shown that the A DNA is a dehydrated version of the B DNA. So relatively there is a reduce of humidity to 75%. Also this A DNA it has got a major groove and a minor groove. So the major groove are narrower and more profound whereas the minor groove are more wider and flattened. So if you see the structures you may visualize it that how it helically rotates in the y-axis as well as in the x-axis direction. Now moving on to the z form of DNA. 
so this z form of dna because of this arrangement of the bases it shows as in a zigzag manner that's why it is called z form so the base pairs which is there it is in the form of anti conformation or syn conformation so the anti conformations are those when the two atoms added in opposite sides is called the anti relations and when the two atoms are added to the same sides it is called the syn conformation and this reaction can be stereospecific or create an anisomers now the b dna forms the z dna so the z dna can form in vitro from b dna by raising negative supercoiling stress or under physiological salt concentration when deoxycytosine is 5 methylated so there is a methylation happening now this model was given by andrew wang alexander rich and its co-worker in 1979 the z dna is left handed because of the disruption and exclusion of the base pairs if you see you would know how it is rotating this is a x axis how the dna rotates now if you see how the transition is taking place from the b dna to the z dna as i told you already the factors which are necessary for the transition are negative supercoiling and super sorry physiological salt concentration so the b dna has got a major group and a minor group whereas when it gets converted to the z dna it only forms the minor group it doesn't have a major group now there is also you will find a lot of books which says that z dna also has got major group and some says it doesn't have so i would prefer you to follow a particular book and when you go for examination try to give the reference as i have given here so if we see the structural variation the characteristics with a b z are helical sense so if you see it is right handed right handed and it is a left handed rotation so if you see these three together you would see you will find that they all are rotating in a right handed direction but it's a kind of illusion you can just keep your hand on two of the a and b dna and just check the z dna separately so for the diameter a has got 26 armstrong b has 20 and z has 18 armstrong so you can see that how it is decreasing rice per ton of helix is 28 armstrong for a form b form 36 armstrong and for z it is 44 armstrong the base pair per helical turn is 11 base pairs for b is this 10 base pair and z this 12 base pairs so the glycosidic bond conformation it is anti conformation for a b also it's anti and for z it is anti for pyrimidin and syn for purins so i've already told you what is anti conformation and syn conformation but for your more knowledge i will just show you a diagram here if you see this this is anti and syn so if you see for the anti the bases and the sugar are distinct and on opposite sides but whereas when you go for syn the bases and the sugars are on the same side so syn is the same side bases and the sugar whereas the anti is in the opposite side i hope you could understand this much moving on to the next the other forms of dna that i told you so i'm not going to talk about the all the forms but i'll just give you 
a little bit idea of some of the forms of the dna like the c dna so the c dna also known as a c form dna observed in relatively low humidity and in the presence of iron such as lithium and magnesium ion and has got 9.3 residues per ton of helix now this c and d both dna they are double stranded helix with right handed twist but slightly different in the structural parameters and this the d dna has got eight residues in one turn and observed in sodium salts now when we see the four forms of dna like a b c d these four forms of dna are known to be more stable under ionic and humidity condition now the e dna it is also known as the eccentric dna which is very rare they have got a long helical rises and the bases are perpendicular to the helix axis they also have got deep major groups and shallow minor groups and this e dna is found intermediate between b and a dna or b to a dna so i hope this forms of dna are clear to you there are other forms of dna as well apart from what we cover today so if you want me to make a video on that just comment down below i will make a separate video for that and for the notes you can also follow us on our telegram channel the links are down below also don't forget to follow us on instagram if you like subscribe interact and share thanks for watching